Come, let us prepare and make some good profits today. Market left us very big clue here, which I talked about a little bit in yesterday's video right here at around the nine minute mark. I was explaining if we open below and gap down, look out for this buying channel that may be forming intraday and take a look for yourself. If you see this one minute chart, we have exactly that intraday buying channel that's forming. This is a big clue. I will be talking a little bit about that in today's video. But before that, we have to analyze intraday what to be looking out for, and that will help you to understand the clues a little bit better. Now, early on in the day at 9.47, we notice this particular control selling algorithm right here as I chart it. This particular control selling algorithm. And I told you to pay attention to that because this would be controlled by the buyers and therefore brought us today's intraday buying channel. Let me explain. Right, one of the very important and early trades that we took at 10 a.m. was the same exact controlled selling organ. Take a look, exact same algorithm here. And if you saw this forming off this very important level, orange 434, take a look there. And you see this buying continuation structure that's forming, right? You would have waited this trade here on this inverse head and shoulder. Beautiful trade if you understood the algorithms and it all happened because we were able to identify the early controlled algorithm right here. And this would have been a beautiful first trade to start the day right here. Now thereafter, I want you to just take a quick look at this. The entire day when we were trending up in this intraday buying channel here. Do you see this controlled selling algorithm? Controlled selling algorithm. We had a larger one right here. Now this was difficult to catch because of this push here, but just take a look. Controlled selling algorithm here. Controlled selling algorithm here. Controlled selling algorithm here. So the entire day's structure was based off this same controlled selling algorithm that we identified as early as 9.40. The market gave us this clue right at the start of the day. Now, regardless, we are looking out for profits in the charts. So there are several trades that you could still have taken, especially short trades like this and like this right here. And if you are able to understand and train your eyes to see the algorithms and trade according to structure, you would have made some profit today. And most importantly, be patient to wait for your setup and not get chopped by the market today. Now, how many people would have been chopped today because you were trying to short this or you're trying to go long and this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens, right? So it's a very difficult day to trade today, even though we were trending up. If you do not see the algorithms and structures and trade as the structure demands. Right thereafter, we identified the yellow algorithm here at 1037, right? Exactly. Now, let me show you this yellow algorithm that we saw early in the day right here. Now, this was already created much earlier when we saw how the chart is forming, right? Even as early as 1037. Now, once you are able to identify algorithms like this, you can see trades like that become much easier to take, right? You would have caught this move. I caught this move only after orange, where we broke out of this other yellow algorithm here, as I showed you, right? And it formed that beautiful head and shoulder pattern that's forming here, right? So, you could have caught this trade, but as always, you noticed that we have the algorithms here. You have to protect the trade as the algorithm and structure demands, right? So there was a trade that you could have still must protect by then. So if you caught this trade here, this would have been easy trade to take. And I mentioned you cannot go long here. Not, not at all, because we are seeing some sort of tapering when you see that it return back to the yellow algorithm here. Now we had another beautiful short trade here at 12.26 once you understand the algorithms here. Now take a look at this. Once again, the yellow algorithms here providing that structure that we needed. Absolutely beautiful structure here. And we started forming right here at pink 435 and you see 
the right shoulder and the right shoulder that's forming. Beautiful right shoulder that's forming and that micro right shoulder forming right here, breaking out and giving us this push down here. Now, once again, you have to protect by this yellow algorithm that we have saw right here and you would have caught the trade here. Now, I explained as well here, very importantly, I explained in the Discord server how important it is for you to understand tapering channels here. Now, if you understood this channel that's tapering, tapering into this yellow channel right here, and what we needed was that horizontal channel. So I warned you about this horizontal channel and I said that there will be a support level below even this orange because we have not seen that horizontal channel. And this horizontal channel will allow the chart to technically trade back to purple 435 and take a look. Once we failed that breakout from this selling algorithm right here, we defended from that bottom and we traded back to 435 right here. Now we needed this channel to form. Right, and I explain here very importantly at two o'clock here. Now, this is a little bit more complicated, so give me some time. Let me explain this very important concept here of continuation structures. Right, firstly, you notice we had this uptrend here, right, and we had this controlled selling algorithm that we identified, and this would have formed number three the buying continuation structure. So far, we have that run up controlled selling algorithm, which is a bull flag. And we had number three, which is that buying continuation structure. And thereafter, you see we have that same controlled selling algorithm, which is another bull flag here, which started right from the start here when we identified it. And this was important once we are able to identify this fifth trade right here. And because of this, we have the ability to identify this number six, very important bull flags. So you are able to take one more trade here to run it to the top to 436 right here. Now find profits in the chart. It's very, very important. Once you understand how to be looking out for the algorithms and using structure to trade, you can be taking profits very, very easily. Now, where do we go now? Very importantly, if you remember yesterday's video, I was talking about this intraday buying channel because this is still possibly that inverse cup and handle that can still form. So I told you the best setup will be waiting for that pullback and revisiting five day moving average again. Very important, right? Especially when five day moving average is trending downwards. So do watch yesterday's video again to understand a little bit of what to be preparing for. And today we see that pullback and we see that intraday buying channel that's forming and we want to see tomorrow, obviously, that five day moving average retest. As I mentioned, if we do test the five day moving average, especially in this very key supply level here, and we reject red 430, Eight. Again, now this would be a very clear liquidity zone that you want to be taking a possible short trade based on what structure demands. Yes. So you have to take a look at this to see a selling continuation structure that's forming. Now, this is the macro structure you have to pay attention to. On the micro structure, on the one minute chart, you need to see buying continuation because we have this buying continuation right here from this intraday buying channel. So you may want to see possible retracements and pushing up again, especially when we have defense of this orange level and want to see how far out this buying channel goes, especially when we start retesting five day moving averages here. And if there is a certain rejection, wait for channel breaks. And we have very key liquidity zones here at yellow 436. And when you see that intraday buying channel, Rejection of five day forming right shoulder of liquidity level at 436 yellow seems like a great treat. Make sure you protect them by orange 434. So we have to pay attention to this buying continuation tomorrow. See if it continues to form. However, do note that I was also talking about a possible rejection right at the start here. Once we start forming this, this can still 
very much happen. So I want you to take a look at this, right? Because we form very strong liquidity right here at this pink 435 and we can very quickly reject off 435 as well if we do not test five day moving average. So 435 is right here and you see this possibility as well, especially in pre-market if we do gap down. So very simply tomorrow, look out for possible buying continuation and we want to see that break of that buying continuation no matter where we are. Now if we do trade higher, market is kind to us and we have a rejection and retest that five day moving average, that will be best because therefore we will build more liquidity if bears want to bring this down. Very key level here at 438, 439. Now if the bulls do reclaim this level, very important. If bulls do reclaim this level here, this is where we start forming the base of that cup and you want to see a handle that started forming. So this buying continuation can still be part of that basing that we are seeing that's happening here. Now, do we form this cup completely, especially when we retest five day? And if that forms, I want to be seeing some sort of buying continuation structure here and seeing some controlled selling before we do a retest again. So very interesting day tomorrow. Market is still indecisive. And this is why you see the possibility of us traveling back to five day moving average for safety, especially when the bears failed to break out here, especially the defense of this orange level. Take a look how strong this orange level is being defended, although we are still in that buying continuation structure. Now in this market here, if you are going to be predicting and assuming where the market will be going, you will lose so much money. You want to go long, the market dumps here. You want to go short, the market starts to rally. You see how this is being rigged and you have to find a way to find profits in the chart and take your profits. Find three trades a day, that's all you need, right? Based on algorithms, based on structure, take three good trades a day. And once you do that, you take the profits off the market, wait for the market to present itself, right? We have some big trades that may be coming up because of the five day moving average, providing us with more opportunities. But when that time comes, ensure that you take a trade based on structure. So there's always money to be made. And I hope you train yourself to be able to identify profits and not be too concerned with where the market is going. The market can go up, the market can go down. It doesn't matter. The only right thing to do is to find profits in the charts. And I hope you do that sooner. Thank you very much for watching. See you closer to opening bell.